A prayer for a mother's health. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne this day to ask you to be true to who you are and who you have always been, Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. I pray that your hand of comfort will be on my mother. She has been your child, impacting countless lives with your love and grace. She has inspired and taught so many what it means to live a life of faith. God, I pray, do not forget her. May you extend to her the same kindness and love she has shown to so many, and particularly to me. I want you to know that I believe your word when it tells us to honor our father and mother. I acknowledge that I have not always honored her in everything I have done, but I seek to honor her love for me now as I pray for her physical and emotional health. I pray that you do not hold my sins against her. Just know that I feel it is my privilege to lift her needs up to you. I come before you as a faithful, loving son with a heart desperately interceding on her behalf. The groanings of my heart are too deep for words. I pray that the Holy Spirit might live this prayer before you, that you might take it as a sweet plea for your ears to hear. I am reminded of the times when you healed because of your compassion. A woman with a hemorrhage who reached out and touched your garment was instantly healed. A widow who had just lost her son watched as you stopped the funeral procession in its tracks, literally standing between death and life and with a word raised her son from the dead. The leprous you made clean, the blind you restored their sight, the lame you made walk, the demon filled you made whole again. The Canaanite woman who begged and threw herself at your feet as she cried out for her daughter, you healed. Even Peter's mother, who had a fever and was on death's threshold, experienced your touch so that she can continue her service. I pray that what you have so wonderfully done for these, you will do for us here and now. Father, I do not just pray for physical healing. I pray for emotional strength for my mother as well. May your touch give her clarity of mind and a sense of your presence. I pray that you will speak to her heart as you reassure her of your love. Help her to understand and to trust the doctors and nurses who tend to her care. Ease and calm her. Remove the fear she feels as she trusts in you. Renew her strength. Remind her that you are the good shepherd whose sheep know your voice and come to you. Take her and hide her in the shelter of your wing. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 verse 4 says, He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. Lord, take this yoke from her and give her rest. May her sleep be peaceful. May she wake refreshed and rejuvenated for the day ahead. Lord, I pray for wisdom and guidance for everyone who is involved in her care. I pray that you will give the doctors patience and compassion as they explain and treat her condition. Renew their strength. Refresh their spirit. Remind them of your presence as they treat their patients. May every word that comes from their lips be filled with kindness and gentleness. May every touch they perform, from the simplest to the most complex, be overflowing with empathy and joy. May they be guided by the Holy Spirit as they offer her care. Father, your word tells us, that charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. Her children will rise up and bless her, for her worth is above rubies. This is the woman I pray for. I rise today, I bless this woman who is my mother. I acknowledge that her worth to me has been far above any gold or treasure that this world could ever offer. May you continue to display your power and grace by allowing her beauty to go on shining. Give her health. Give her your peace, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. I pray that this prayer has blessed you. If you have a prayer request, be sure to post it in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Lord continue to bless you.